brownish nut lies a kuno. Let's make what we fiamano. Fiamano vale to it zilla. What does it? But let's come and say nincele. Ma fuck, ma shan, ma shan, ma shan. Sorry, that's not true. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. No kunj tama b. She. Baeleni. Why? You're breaking my home. You're breaking my home. Let me tell me who's the father of that bastard? You. Who's the father of that bastard? Who else have you been sleeping with? Huh? Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to Samir's Journey. If you're new, you're welcome. And if you're a training subscriber, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to talk about episode 9 of The Divorce Club. It came out yesterday. And just pause. If you haven't watched my previous video, please check it out because they're linked. So the link is in the description. Yep. And also, I'm going to pin it here so you can just click this little thing that's going to pop up. Or oh, that has already popped up. Yeah. So let's get into it. So last week... It was about Collins and Helen. And we talked about Collins saying he, th he thought the kids weren't his. So in this episode, we're getting the results. We're getting the DNA results, the official results. And this episode was something. A lot of drama, a lot of insulting, a lot of grappling. A lot of, just a lot of stuff. We got a lot in this episode. So the results are in. And let's not forget... In the first episode, we had the snitch. So the snitch was the guy who told Collins about how his girlfriend was cheating. Oh, told Collins about how his wife was cheating with the trainer, blah, blah. So in this episode, yeah, chill. So this is the snitch. So you see this guy, yeah. Oh, just wow. So this is the witness you're talking about. My own cousin, my own blood. So in this episode, he came with his wife. So apparently after last week's episode, Collins kicked out his wife and his three children or three kids that are not his, according to him. So he kicked them out and they had been living with the snitch that was the cousin to Helen. And Helen also disappeared during that period. So she left the kids with, with Natasha, who was the snitch's wife. I've got the snitch's name, I'll put it here, I can't remember. Oh, it was Leon, yeah. So she left the kids with Leon and his wife to take care of. And Leon's wife, Natasha, hasn't been taking has hasn't been going to work because she has been busy taking care of the children and all that. So she's there like just to talk about our concerns about the kids and everything and you know, all that. So in episode Helen pops up a bit late and she says the reason why she hasn't been around the kids is because she has been confused by this whole situation that's going on. Lately, I've been very, very confused. Like for the past one week, things have been very hard for me and I didn't literally abandon my children. Yeah, so Helen has been confused and everything. So the thing is, you know, the kids, it's not how you treat kids, like just being honest, whether this is scripted or not, there's a lesson. Like the kids are innocent. They don't know what's going on. They didn't choose to be born. Just happened, right? They got born. So here are the results. So there was a DNA test to test whether the kids were Collins or whether they were the 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 trainer guy. Yeah, the guy who's been shouting, talking a lot. So here are the results. The first kid, not Collins kid. And it's not the trainer's kid, so not the first kid has another father we don't know about. Second kid is not the trainer's child, but it's Colin's child. Then the third kid isn't Colin's child. Just check the results here. In the case of 12 year old Colin's junior, at 99.9% of the results, mm -hmm. You are not the father. Mr. Niger, you are not the father. In the case of young Chris, Mr. Collins, you are the father. 
case of Christina against both Mr. Niger and Mr. Collins. The results came out that Mr. Collins, Mr. Niger, you are both not the fathers. What a fuck. So, yeah, so he checked out the results. So then now, the drama begins. Who is the father of the two other kids that are not Collins' kids? Who is the father? Who do you guys think the father is? Okay, we don't know either. So then, at this point, I believe the trainer guy is becoming relevant. Niger, why are you still here? You know, he's not, he like, he should just leave. Like, he's clean. Okay, he did cheat with Helen, but right now he's clean. He can just leave, but he stays. He stays and brings in all this drama. Check this out. This guy just bringing all this drama. Check it out. Producer, we didn't come here for this nonsense. We just came here for the results. So I wonder why he's still behaving like a stupid retard. No, 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 enough, seriously, no, enough of this. Eh? We are not here for this bullshit. Ah. We've got, was you, see, you have the boss to face me, but ah. not the boss to, to impregnate your wife. What the f***? How did you change you? What the f***? I've lost everything, everything. He needs to pay me. He will have to pay me. Fuck you. I'm suing him. I've lost my job. Clients don't trust me with... I'm suing this mother. Okay. Oh, no. This is you right, right. you right. You right. you up. You're... So yeah, we get the drama from this coach, trainer guy. And it goes on and on. So then, you know, we get some uh, some news from Natasha, Leon's wife, the snitch's wife. She's like, you know what? I don't like how my husband is so close to his cousin Helen. No, they're just too close disgustingly close you know she suspects these two might be doing something behind the behind the scenes or behind closed doors these two are getting freaky freaky yeah so she she does suspect this you know Then Colin gets this idea. He says, You know what? Now that you said it, I think the firstborn kid and the lastborn kid, you know, they don't look like him. But then now, they look like Leon, the cousin to Helen. So then this drama comes in where now people start to believe or start to think, you know, they've got a point. They've got a point. This Leon guy might be the father of the two other kids who are not calling. So then the drama begins, the drama begins, the drama begins. You know, so then I'm watching this and I'm watching how this guy is acting. This calling guy, let's check, check how he's been acting this whole episode. Check, who cares? That's not my f-ing business. I don't care about them. I don't care. Those are just bastards. Yeah, is it not your wife? Helen, she's a bitch. Who knows? Maybe she's yeah. not busy, like you know, uh. Opening legs for other men. I've told you already. I don't fucking know where your, your your cousin is. Who knows? Maybe she's with the producer. Ask the producer. The Jezebel herself. Huh? Instead of taking care of her kids, she just let the kids at your place and busy sleeping around with the other men. Why should I waste my time? Yeah. We're not even in the society. People they don't respect the bitches. Oh, why should I respect I you? After watching this, I just said think yo this calling guy okay even though he's right and some of his suspicions are right that the kids may not be his but one of them is i just think he's what can i say i think he's a bit he's overreacting like the way he's been talking to the women the way he's been addressing those situations like he's acting like childish to me i'll say he's acting childish like he's not acting like civilized or grown up or just acting childish 
doing some funny stuff. Like, that's how I deal with the situation. It's just acting all childish and everything. So then now, the producer asks this guy. Because all of us want to know. Because after we got the news from Natasha and the suspicions from Colin that the kids might be Leon's, the cousin, all of us want to know whether the kids are his. So he was asked whether he would like to do a DNA test. And you know, this guy is acting shady. He didn't, he's, not, he's not giving a yes or you know, you know, he's like diverting the, the subject. Like how, but how, how ridiculous it is that they would want to do a DNA test. But I thought about it too, you know. So if I did a DNA test with a cousin of mine, would they be a match? Like maybe there'll be some percentage, maybe let's say maybe a 40% to something, 40 to 50% match, maybe because of the relatives, maybe I might have like a link in, you know, the DNA, like maybe like we can be like a 50, 40 to 50% match. That's what I think. I don't know. I don't know his science stuff. Let me know in the comments what you think. So yeah, I don't know about this DNA. So if, for example, if you test this guy against, if you test the Leon guy against uh, the kids or test them with, like testing them together with the kids so the match might be I sh- I'm, I'm sure the match might be like if he is not the father the match may be like DNA match maybe like 30 40% somewhere there I think but if it's the father it's gonna be like 99.99999 that's just like 100% yeah, so next episode, I'm sure we're going to get the DNA test. We're getting it done. And Leon might be the father. But then we get all this drama, you know. Leon's wife, Natasha, doesn't have kids. So she's assumed to be barren. But then she says, no, her husband didn't give her attention, you know. He didn't find her attractive because he's always spending time with Helen, you know. And then this this young guy is like a dumb ass nigga. Dumb ass nigga. So you're there with your wife, right? Then you go and support your cousin. What what's that? That don't make sense to me. If you think your if your cousin has been doing something that's wrong, you are because it's like he was supporting her for the wrong she did, and then ignoring his wife. At some point, like check this out, he moved. After I'm that baby, I'm sorry. I'll this is what you wanted. Who? Yes. Oh. Yeah. No, him. Just... Hey, my boy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Better you die. I don't care. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay, so he moved and went to stick with this Helen girl. Man, this drama. It's too much. It's too much. So, next episode, I'm sure we're going to see and get the results and the reactions from Colin, his wife. Helen, Leon, and the rest. We're going to get the reactions. So, I think... I think Leon's the father. Let me know. Let me know in the... the <laughs> let me know in the comments what you think. But I think Leon is the father. Yeah. So, that's it for this video, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.